Hey everybody, Max here from Max Playground, and welcome to a Sims 2 speed building video. This is a arcade and or a barcade. Um, at this time, I still haven't decided what to name it, but it'll be in the title, obviously. Um, it's basically a building that's in my neighborhood that I'm currently working on, which is called Meadow Mill. And it's kind of one of, um, well, this might be relevant or not relevant. Um, if you were at all in my live streams when I started building this neighborhood, you may remember that I built um, like a row of um, like shops in the main area of the town. And I had done like a bakery and I built a bank and I think a a little clothing store is how far I got with them. There was like three of them. They're all very small little spaces because that's something that I really want to do in this hood is make small tiny compact spaces um, if you haven't watched my video that I put out last week which was a tiny condo so uh, I mentioned that you know I really like making tiny small like compact builds and I have also been doing this for some of the businesses some of them so this is one of the ones that's kind of like in a row of shops and it's it's an arcade and it also has a bar attached to it so it's where I would send my sims to play some games, have a drink, maybe meet some people, mingle a little bit. It's not very big though so I have to use a mod called either the visitor controller or the customer controller to set how many sims I want to have in this hood or not in this hood sorry in this lot on this lot at the at a time um so i am wanting to play more of an integrated style hood so only towny not townies but only people that live in this neighborhood kind of go on the lots unless i need a couple townies here and there uh, and a lot of the businesses are owned by sims that live in this neighborhood that are you know residents of this neighborhood so um i did like, as you guys can see, um, I didn't, like, I play around with the layout quite a bit in this build, and I actually didn't even have to cut much footage at all from it, so it didn't take me very long, because it's a, it's a rather small build, and I mean, I could have stretched it out by decorating super detailed, but I, I, I did, and I didn't, I wanted to keep it a little bit simple, because I didn't want to crowd up the space too, too much. Um, I did play with some different layouts, as you guys can see, like how I wanted it, and I ended up coming up with a good, a good one, I think, anyways. But I had a really hard time, like, with where I wanted to put the, like, the games, where I wanted to put the, like, the arcade machines, or where I wanted to put the bar. I kind of fooled around a little bit. I know when I do have a certain sim in mind, like, I do kind of have a sim in mind that I have to create to make this, or to own this bar. But yeah, like I have, um, I have to move the one counter if I do want to have somebody own this place. So I don't know. I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited about it. It's not, um, it's, it's kind of like a little bit grungy, a little bit kind of like an alternative style, uh, bar. If I had more space, I would have put some instruments in and it would have been like kind of more of a, like a, like a lounge, like a like a jam space almost but like a lounge where you can go and you can watch people jam it's more has like a more like punk rock kind of style to it kind of like a punk rock kind of bar I don't know if you would know what I'm talking about but um we have one in my city that is just like it, it's where a lot of like there's a lot of gigs a lot of shows people put on a lot of from like local bands and some out of town bands but I wanted to do more of like an arcade theme instead of just like a jam space because I think um, I kind of want to make a downtown to this neighborhood that won't be super big by any means, but it'll have a little bit more of the bigger and more expanded buildings. And I was thinking of maybe doing like a full on like grunge bar in that. But I, like I said, um, it's going to be a bit. <laughs> I'm still decorating this neighborhood. Now, this neighborhood has at this point in time um it has a uh, it's starting to grow its residential more suburban area it has its kind of downtown it's that's coming along nicely it has um a adoption like um pet not a pet adoption a, an animal shelter um that's like 
turned into like kind of like this industrial apartment upstairs. It has a tattoo shop that has a tattoo and or hair salon shop that has, um, yes, a functioning tattoo gun. But unfortunately, the creator of the tattoo gun didn't make it where you can tattoo other sims. It's really cool, but kind of limited. But I put it in as like a home business, so it's kind of more for show. But she, uh, this the sim that lives there is a, um, a tattoo artist, and I don't have video footage for that because I built it before I really wanted to make like a comeback to my um, to YouTube and stuff. But uh, I did it's something I'm really proud of. And if I do end up doing a, a tour of this neighborhood on as a video, I'm going to sh definitely showcase that lot. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's um, there's a tattoo shop. What else is there? Um, there's a, a medical center. Um, I have to make, I have to do City Hall, and I, there's a church that I haven't finished um, that's going to have, like, the graveyard and where your sims can go to get married and stuff like that. Um, I have to do a college campus area because I have, um, I have it where your sims can attend college at, like, in their neighborhood from home. Um, so I want to make some dorms and stuff like that. I have these conversions by Veronica, these sims three to two conversions of the uh, university stuff. Veronica is a awesome uh, cr like creator. She does a lot of conversions. I don't know if she's still doing conversions, but she did a lot of Sims 3 conversions on her Tumblr. So if you're looking for uh, conversions from Sims 3 to Sims 2, uh, like objects and stuff like that, I really do um, recommend Veronka. It's like V-E-R-A-N-K-A. -A, and you just go onto Google and type uh, Veronka Sims 2 Tumblr or Veronka Simbler or something like that, and her conversions will pop up. Uh, well, or you could just even put like Veronka Sims 2 to 3 conversions and uh, that'll pop up uh, that's a ton of them so yeah um as for these bottles i think i got them around i think i got them at around the sims 2 there's i i think that's where i got them or i got them from various um various downloads that i've i've uh you know various lots that i've downloaded of bars and stuff like that um i know that when i was i still am like on the side right now um organizing and working on a like my pleasant view and or uberhood um and i was getting quite a few uh, renovated lots of the of lots of from like downtown i have that neighborhood set up kind of cool where it's um it's pleasant view then there's strange town and um strange town and blue water village attached and then i have belladonna cove without the residents like without the belladonna cove sims set as the um, neighborhood or as the downtown sorry as so I have Belladonna Cove as their downtown and I'm renovating the layout of it and making it more just kind of better I guess you could say and I've been downloading some of the um the reno like renovated lots of the bars that were downtown to make it like kind of a more like updated version of it and a lot of like not really a lot of them but some of the bars come with custom content and those that's where I got probably some of those bottles that was a ten to very long tangent leading basically up to nothing <laughs> but yeah I was really excited to be able to use that giant painting with the girl um I, I don't really get to use it very often and I thought that would be kind of a fitting place I just wish that there was more I'm sure there are recolors of like the things that are in the speech bubbles but I just thought that was kind of neat. And so I put that in there and I kind of did like a wall of just like posters and stuff, which I'm working on now. So yeah, um, I just like, I don't know how often I'm going to be uploading like this one video I did on like a Sunday and it's Sunday when I'm recording this and it hopefully is going to be up by tomorrow, which is a Monday. Um, I kind of, uh, just kind of decided it on the fly. I was like, uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to upload this because um, it's it, like it's not up for download, unfortunately, because it's the way that this is located, it, like where it's located in my hood. It's in between two lots that I had to adjust with this tool called I think it's lot sizer, a lot adjuster, where I literally had to shrink the lots 
and make it where they looked attached. Now, I don't, you may not notice it too much here, but they are kind of attached in neighborhood view. So just uploading this one alone wouldn't make sense. So you kind of see it like at the corner there where it's attached to the lots beside it. It wouldn't make sense to just have this one lot. So what I might do is I might do a, um, like a build that has uh, like I might do like a series of buildings. So I have to do, I think one or two more on this side of the area. I have to want to do a toy store and I want to do a post office and maybe then I'll upload them as like together in one archive. So if like you want this one and you want the toy, the toy store, and then the, um, the post office, I might do it kind of as a group download. So yeah. Um, I'm sorry about that. If anybody who's watching this wants it, um, you can, if you want to see, um, I kind of read more about this, I'm going to probably try to make a post of it on my Tumblr. Um, again, if you guys want to, I think I said this in my last video, if you want to go and follow my Tumblr, that would be super appreciated. Um, I post a lot of, um, Sims 2 custom content on there and yeah, it's, uh, I'm kind of, it's like my domain for my Sims stuff. That's where I post a lot of stuff. I have quite a few followers on there. So it would really mean a lot if you did go and check that out, get some CC custom content. CC, I know a lot of you guys have been asking where I get my CC from. So yeah, um, a lot of it is on Tumblr, uh, about the Sims. But yeah, so um, I hope that you guys did like this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to see any more of my socials, I am in the I am on Twitter, Facebook, and on Instagram. And those links are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>